Hey guys, I'm here today to do a video review of the Tiny Giant pen kit that I purchased from Turner's Warehouse. And I'm going to show you what's in the bag. So the parts for this kit include a brass tube. This takes a uh, 5 16 drill bit. It's advertised as 5 16 or 8 millimeter. I used 5 16 and I think that was a great choice. That's what I will continue to use and what I recommend to you is uh, that particular drill bit. This is a little bit more than two and a half inches long. It's just enough longer that you can't get two out of a standard five inch blank without really pushing it. So if your blanks are a little bit longer than five inches, you might be able to get two out of it. Otherwise, you're going to have to just deal with one and then have uh, some leftover for a different project. We have a standard Parker style refill. Uh, it's not marked in any way, so it's just kind of a generic uh, refill. So keep that in mind for what it's worth. And then we have the standard ballpoint spring that every ballpoint kit comes with. We have a finial piece, and this is uh, chrome plated, and it's plated very well. It really looks nice and shiny and pretty well made, and so I'm happy with that. The finial is one piece, or at least it appears to be one piece. You can't unscrew it at all, and uh, I don't see a real big problem with that, but just keep that in mind. And then we have the nib, and you'll see that has a little ridge on it where the cap will seat. It's a snap cap. This will unscrew and uh, as has been uh, mentioned by a couple people it can be kind of hard to unscrew the first time but it will uh, unscrew to come off to change your refill once you have the pen assembled. And so that's that'll be an important factor. I'll put that aside. And then we have the cap. The cap has this uh, three hole and then a little slot pattern with it, which you may or may not like. Uh, I kind of have mixed feelings about it. It's okay. It's not uh, amazing for me on style, but there's no big problem with it. And uh, what you may not be aware of is that the cap can disassemble. Somebody mentioned about the clip being loose, uh, and that is possible. The reason the clip could be loose is if the uh, cap is um, loose, this will unthread. And it's a pretty uh, long, post in there that will come apart and so the clip comes loose and then there's a, the end cap with a threaded stud on it. The main body of the cap and then there's a little plastic insert inside there and that's what snaps the cap onto the uh, pen itself and so that comes out of there and uh, when you screw it back in if you take it apart which you shouldn't really need to take it apart for any particular reason um, except for maybe if you want to put some blue Loctite or something like that on here a little bit on top would maybe just hold it in nice and uh, nice and tight but you just need to be careful that when you put it back together you get the white uh, insert all the way seated back in otherwise it won't snap together quite right. So just be careful for that if you do ever take this apart that it's seated together right. One thing that I like about this kit is that both the nib and the finial portions have this little bead where it, where it meets up with the blank material and that little bead makes it kind of forgiving on exact fit so if you're not quite perfect it gives you a little bit more room than uh, some other kits where the it's just a straight line so it's really going to be perfect if you want to have a good um, feel from one uh, from one piece to the other one thing to note about this um, pen is that it's really small and I, I want to really make mention of that in this video. It was smaller than I thought it was going to be. And um, you can see it, in, especially when you take the cap off, my hands aren't huge uh, and it kind of gets lost in there. Now when you put the cap on, it becomes a much nicer length that you can really hold in your hand. But it is a, uh, it's a small pen. 
I can see this being great for like in a purse, in your pocket. It has a portability that a lot of other pens might not have. So that's something that may be an advantage to it. But uh, I want to just compare it to a couple other pens here. This is kind of a standard Sierra uh, size pen, style pen. And so you can see the difference in size here that the Tiny Giant is smaller than that. Here's a uh, bolt action tech pen. So it's getting a little, little closer there. But it's really a, a very slender, very small pen. It is indeed tiny, uh, but it's a nice pen. Also want to make mention that the, the uh, two bushings that uh, you can purchase with it are both the same size. And what that means is that after you uh, t turn and finish your blank, you can assemble it either direction. It won't matter because they're both the same size uh, on there. Also want to say that I have another video that I turned this uh, ballpoint pen into a roller ball pen. And so you can check out that video as well if you like to turn this pen into a roller ball pen. Uh, there is a way to do that. This pen is a little bit different because there's not too many ballpoint kits on the market that have a cap that's, that's removable. Uh, there's some disposable pens and things that have a removable cap. Most of the kits available to turn are either a twist or a click or something different like the bolt action. So this is a little bit different in that it has, uh, it has the cap. Also, some people in the past have been skeptical of the snap cap uh, how long it will hold up and I really can't comment as far as how it will do over the course of time but I can tell you that it works really well out of the box it's a very um, positive feel when it's snapped on and it's really pretty tight too it's not just gonna fall off without a good bit of pull again at least initially whether over time what happens with it I can't say right now but uh, I'm pleased with that it snaps on the on the back again there quite well also so overall, I'm very pleased with this kit. I'm pleased with the quality of it. For the price, uh, it's a great kit. It's just a really small pen. So keep that in mind. If you have any questions or comments, please leave uh, them below and I'll answer as soon as possible. And I'd appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.